Welcome back, everybody. IGN Live from Comic Con 2016. I'm Damon Hatfield. This is Ed Boone from NetherRealm Studios. Here to talk about Injustice 2. You just had your panel earlier this afternoon. Yes, we did. We unveiled two new characters. Who were those characters? Those uh, new characters were uh, Wonder Woman, who's returning from Injustice 1, and a brand new uh, character in the Injustice 2 roster, uh, Blue Beetle. Blue Beetle, yeah. yeah. I, yeah. I, I think we've got uh, new footage of both these characters that we're going to pull up here in a second. Uh, what can you tell us about these two characters, their, their play style? Uh, maybe you even uh, let us a little... Let us know a little bit about Blue Beetle, because everyone knows Wonder Woman. Maybe not everyone knows Blue Beetle as well. Yeah, well, Wonder Woman is returning, but she has, you know, she's playing differently this time. You know, before she was kind of switches between a, um, a, a two different stances. Now she fights uh, exclusively with her sword and shield, okay. and uh, that makes it's a big part of her whole fighting style. And uh, of course, she has, you know, the whole the gear thing, with, right. which uh, in, yeah. enhances uh, all the characters as well as her. Uh, Blue Beetle is a, a new entry to the uh, Injustice uh, world, a big, big fan favorite. He's one of the characters who's, over the years, has been requested you yeah. know, the most, the most uh, feverishly and, and um, a lot of anger on Twitter. And uh, anger so about him not <laughs> being in it, or about him being in the game? What? Uh, yeah, yeah. The people Wait, were really mad we didn't. Well, hold on him. a second. You're, you're saying some people on Twitter are angry? No, they're angry that we didn't include him in the last game. Okay. Yeah, yeah. So, so, um, but yeah. So we're really excited to get him um, in the game. And you know, what's really cool is because we're we're, we're an even bigger roster and we're digging deeper into the DC, um, you know, roster list. We can do other characters like Blue Beetle that mm -hmm. are really, you know. Yeah. Big hardcore, not as quite as recognizable sure. as Superman and Batman, but you know have a really intense fan base. Yeah, you mentioned the gear. That's like one of the, that's one of the major new features yes. this time out. Yeah. Uh, explain to me how this works. You you win gear for winning matches, and it's sort of a loot drop system, right? Yeah, exactly. Um, after after you know certain matches, you'll get a um, you get rewarded with new costume pieces, basically. Mm -hmm. And the costume pieces you you put them on your character, and they actually. Um, strengthen your character in certain areas like you know offense how much damage you do defense how much damage you you, you block or take and um, as well as other things of like you know more obscure things like you know how how much damage you do when you do interactive backgrounds and uh, objects and uh, so it's a lot of a um, kind of sculpting your version of your your favorite character with the um, you know the idea of kind of customizing it to how you want yeah and we're talking about Hundreds of, of mods, or or a thousand, like oh thousands, yeah, thousands yeah, yeah, of mods yeah, yeah. No, it's for, it's, it's yeah. There's there's just tons. You're, we're going to be, um, you know, the process of of, you know, kind of leveling up your character will be. It's it's not like a one day thing. You know, okay. it's it's over the course of a long period of time, and you're always out looking for that better piece of gear. Yeah. So you unveiled two new characters in the roster today. How many characters have you unveiled so far? Uh, I think that gives us eight. That's so far, yeah. you know, we, we, we had announced at E3 with six characters, um, Superman, Batman, Aquaman, uh, Gorilla Grodd, Supergirl, and Atrocitus yeah. were, the, were, the, uh, were the six, and then we just added Wonder Woman yeah. and Blue Beetle. And you'll be announcing more characters over time, Absolutely. I, I assume. Uh, but with Mortal Kombat, another little game that you work on, uh, you, you've been very open to having crossover characters, you know, sort of yeah. uh, adding new characters later on that aren't part of the Mortal Kombat universe. Are you open to doing that with Injustice as well? Yeah, you know, we actually did that with Injustice 1. We had Scorpion, who was the most downloaded um, character of, yeah. of all of the, the six that, that we had uh, yeah. released. So, you know, I think, I think, you know, there's a novelty to seeing, you know, Scorpion fighting mm -hmm. Batman yeah. or something like that. And, um, you know, people like to see those, those kinds of things. So I'm, I'm, I'd be surprised if we didn't do that again. Surprised if we didn't do it. Yeah. Yeah, in getting back to the gear for one second, you've also uh, uh, noted that that's not, like you don't, it's not re a requirement, right? Like when you're playing in matches against people, you could elect to play, a, is it a different mode? Where yeah, you know, um, because you're, you're, you know, you're leveling the characters and, you know, your character's getting better. If, you, yeah. if you've been playing the game for six months and I just come in, you know, right. first of all, we're not going to match you up with somebody who's been leveled up that high. Yeah. But, you know, for things like, uh, like tournaments and like, you know, regulation tournaments where you're playing for money and all that stuff, we're going to have a kind of uh, a, a level playing field tournament mode that people can pick that kind of disables all of the the power-ups from the from the gear, and then you have your base kind of tournament version of these characters. Right, yeah. Uh, speaking of Wonder Woman, I think it was either earlier today or yesterday that they unveiled the uh, the new Wonder Woman outfit for the Wonder Woman movie. Yes. 
for the game for her model? Or have you been working with the movie studio at all? So just sort of like we don't work with that? we don't work with the movie studios. They kind of like have their universe, and we have have ours. But you know, like in the past, we've had the movie versions of the characters in our games, just as right. like a skin, or yeah. like a like a, a cool a cool yeah. novelty thing. And I'd be surprised if we didn't yeah. do something like that again. Speaking of that, uh, I think for it was the first injustice that you had a skin of uh, Stephen Amell uh, for Arrow. For, yes, uh, yeah, that's, for right. Green Arrow, that's right. Yeah, yeah that was uh, cool. Is that also something you're uh, open to? For sure. You know, I mean, I mean, sure? yeah, I mean, the the, the uh, um, there are all these shows now: The Flash, Arrow, right. DC Legends, and yeah. and Supergirl. And, uh, Supergirl, and so I, I, I uh, th those are great uh, opportunities for us to do these kind of nods to those yeah. uh, different universes. Uh, the first game had a, a very popular uh, comic book tie-in. Yeah, yeah. And is that Tom something, have you, have you announced anything on we that? Did. We did, we did. At our panel we announced uh, Tom Taylor, who wrote right. the, uh, um, the, the, the first Injustice comic, is going to be returning to do an Injustice 2 comic, which will cover the events uh, between the Injustice 1 game and the Injustice 2 game. So right. just like, you know, we have this kind of four-part story. It's like the Injustice 1 comic, Injustice 1 game, Injustice 2 comic, Injustice 2 game, and they're all telling the the long, long story of uh, you know this uh, alternate universe, right. Superman and Batman. Yeah, the game is coming next year. That's uh, right. No, there's not a specific release date yet, though. Is that no, right? not yet. 2017. So, uh, is that when the comic is coming as well? Uh, the comic is going to come before the game. Oh, okay. uh, I'm not. I'm not sure the exact month, but it's definitely going to come before the game comes mm. out. And then the original Injustice eventually came to mobile. Yeah. Uh, is that something you're exploring doing for Injustice 2 as well? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. The, you know, um, I, always, I always describe the, the mobile game and the comic as like the two children that the game had that graduated and yeah. went on to become, you know, you know really successful. Your, your proud uh, father. Yeah, yeah, exactly. And so um, there's, there's definitely uh, going to be um, uh, an Injustice Mobile 2 uh, yeah. uh, app as well. Very cool. Yeah. Uh, we had a reporter at your panel today, actually. I heard the, the most common question was, is this character yeah. in the game? Is yeah. this character yeah. in the game? And, and you know, and, and we, we made it really clear that you know we're here to announce Blue Beetle and Wonder yeah. Woman, yeah. and we can't say any more. Yes. And it goes, okay, okay, I get it. That's is it. Red Hood in the game? Yeah. You know, <laughs> which was you know we we, we love the uh, enthusiasm that they would have for yes. it. Um, but at the same time, I was like, oh, you just wasted a question. Yeah, I you could have I asked something that yeah, we exactly, might have answered. Exactly. And then the next guy's like, okay, okay, okay. Is Doctor Fate in the game? Yeah. You know, all these things. This is great. Uh, yeah, internet, leave Ed Boon alone about the characters. You'll, you'll, you'll learn about all the new characters in due time. Exactly, exactly. Uh, what about Mortal Kombat X? You've been teasing uh, some sort of uh, uh, announcements, more updates to that game recently. When are we going to hear more about that? Uh, if I had my way in the very near future, and I might have my way, um, mm -hmm. but yeah, we, we, have, we definitely have, um, uh, um, if all goes well, we have uh, uh, some, some good news for Mortal Kombat X, XL. In, in the near future. In the near future. You have your, your, your way. Yes. All right. And thank you so much for coming by the show. Thanks for having me. Injustice 2 is coming next year. Stay tuned for more from IGN Live here at Comic-Con after this.